Now here's where sometimes instructors raise tone, they get a little aggressive, and it really it closes up the student's mind. So the frustration that might build internally for you is something that you need to be mindful of and not bring that, pose that onto the student. Right? There's other ways that we can address this issue, and I'm going to show you here right now. Right? All right, so today we're going to talk about non-precision approaches, specifically the use of VNAV. And when we use VNAV, there's an acronym that we use, which is LABS. We covered it two days ago. Do you remember LABS? Anything about this? What do you remember about that? Uh, I forgot, Joe. I don't, I don't remember. Uh, Nothing at all. You're not like any, you're not sure? No, not really. I sort of remember a little bit. You but so, no, I, I, but I, I, it's, it's not sort of. We already went through this two days ago. I keep repeating stuff to you. I don't get it. Why isn't it not going in? Okay, this was load approach. Okay, so th this is an example right here where I covered this with the student, right? two days ago and the student has not I know they haven't studied this because it's only it's only four letters how can you not remember this right I mean anybody can remember four four letters it's a four letter acronym and so with this this is where I say same scenario instead of saying it's not sort of why don't you know this I already covered this with you you get an aggressive tone right there what's happening to him in his mind is he's going, he's closing up. Any question that I ask him later on, he's not going to he's not going to want to respond because he's fearful that his response is wrong. You see, if you talk with a tone of voice and you impose this negative vibe and attitude in the environment, they never want to tell you anything because they're fearful of being wrong. And every time they're wrong, they get very negative response by the instructor, right? When I said, hey, Labs, you remember anything? He said, no, sort of. Okay, look, man, I understand, sort of. Look, we covered it two days ago. Let me refresh. I know you got a lot of stuff on your mind. Load approach, right? Then I, and then I go back through it again, show them the acronym again, show them exactly what I want to show them again. But the thing is, I always acknowledge their position. Look, I get it, man. It's fine. You're studying a lot of stuff. But let me tell you, you need to know this, and it's not for me, it's for you. Their uh, aperture for learning needs to be open, right? Their eyes need to be wide open. Their, their minds need to be open and receptive to what you are trying to communicate to them. And any negative tone, any aggressive tone, it's not sort of, I told you this yesterday, why don't you know this? Something like that, instantly, he doesn't want to get lashed anymore. So he's not going to answer anymore, right? So just keep this in mind, and then you set the standard. It's coming, it's on the check ride. I'm going to ask you again tomorrow. I'm going to ask you again in five minutes. You acknowledge first, and then you set a higher standard. You always push them, push them along, but with a positive tone. It's oftentimes in ground school, it's dry information. And they get bored. And they get bored, and it's our job as professional instructors to not make it boring. And so don't allow the dry material to dry your students out, right? You gotta, you gotta moisten them up again, you see what I mean? So what you need to do, and what I oftentimes, this is a technique that I employ, is I say, look, 